Hey guys! So since St. Patrick's Day is just around the corner, I'm going to be doing a St. Patrick's Day look today, hair, makeup, and outfit. And my friend Kaylee from The Styles Meow is also doing a St. Patrick's Day look, so after you watch this, go over and check out her video. So I'm skipping my foundation routine today because it's the exact same from my everyday makeup routine video, which I will link down below. And now I'm applying my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the color Blissful. Now moving on to eyes, I'm going to prime my eyelids with my Maybelline 24 Hour Color Tattoo in the color Barely Branded. And now I'm going old school and using my Naked One palette today. And I'm going to start off by applying the color Sin just all over my eyelid. Next I'm taking this pretty gold color called Half Bake, and I know it looks like I'm pointing at the brown color, but I was pretty sure I was pointing at the gold color. And then I'm taking a flat shader brush and just applying this to the base of my eyelid. Now I really am taking that brown color, which is called Buck, with a MAC 222 crease brush and applying this in my crease with just some windshield wiper motions. Now I'm taking the Buck color again with a smaller brush and just applying this on the outer half of my lower lash line. Now I'm taking my Maybelline Eye Studio Master Duo Eyeliner in the color Polish Green and applying this to my upper lash line. Now I'm taking my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the color Stash, which is like a greenish gold color, and I'm going to apply this in my waterline. I'm taking my Maybelline The Rocket Mascara and I'm going to apply this to my top and bottom eyelashes. Now I'm taking the MAC lipstick in the color Ravishing, which is like a really pretty coral color, and applying it to my lips. And then I'm going to top that off with the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Apple Strudel. And that's it for the makeup. As you can see, I kind of was inspired by a pot of gold, but I also got the green in there with the eyeliner. Now, time to move on to hair. Today I'm going to be using my Cortex 4-in-1 curling wand and I'm going to be using the second largest size which is 1 and one fourth inch. I'm not even going to section my hair off today because I want to go for a really natural look so I'm just taking pieces of hair and twirling them around the curling wand and I'm switching directions with every piece of hair that I grab. As you can see I'm just kind of creating loose wave curls and I'm not worried too much about the way they look because again I just want it to be a really natural look. So once I'm done curling my hair I'm going to take a piece from the front a piece from the middle and a piece from the back and just create a really loose braid and this kind of just makes it look like your hair is down still but it keeps your hair out of your face and adds a little extra detail. And I'm just going to secure that with a clear elastic. And that's it for the hair. Now time for the outfit. So here is my St. Patrick's Day outfit. I'm wearing my favorite shoes of the moment which are these little tan booties by Jeffrey Campbell. And then I got these white distressed jeans at Hollister. I got this awesome party till your Irish tank top from Nordstrom. And I got this lime green cardigan from Toby.com. This cute dog's name is Willow, and I got these sweet moves from my mama. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope it inspired you to have fun with your St. Patrick's Day hair, makeup, and outfit. Thank you so much for watching. I really love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Now make
make sure you go check out my friend Kaylee's video. She's so pretty and so sweet. You guys are going to love her and I'm sure her video is great. I will have it linked down below so you guys can just click it and go watch her video right away.